Hello everybody, welcome back to the Jade Empire walkthrough. We've well, just arrived well, in the Imperial, the Imperial City, City and we are going to, it is quite a spectacle <clears throat> to the talk with Kang the here the and uh, check out the, I believe we can finally check out Lord Lao's Furnace. I've given some thought to the strange device that I was inspired to construct. I'm not sure what purpose it has yet, but it appears to be working, I think. Ah, just a few tweaks. Hmm, tight fit. Not sure how that will affect things. Eh, what's it? Hmm, I don't remember seeing that before. Eh, eh, just get this last. There we go. It's ready. Now we can finally find out just what it does. After I name it, of course. Nothing works right until you name it. How about the confoundable minutia? What? No, impossible. I, I fixed it. I checked everything. It should work. Unless... No, unless... No, I did that. Oh. Where'd the city go? Well, that was anticlimactic. A flash of light, but no resounding boom. What good is such a light if Earth doesn't meet sky? What? Oh my. It seems we have transported to a... a heaven. A strangely familiar one for some reason, but I don't recall ever moving to such a place before. It is strangely beautiful. We are clearly not in an earthly realm. Good idea. Something about this place makes me want to explore, too. I am compelled to step this way. There are gears here that I remember. Watch where he goes. We'll need him to get out of here. Alright, so here we are, finally. Uh, there's... I want to say there's five different devices. It might be six. Uh, and then the, the different combinations of the... The devices uh, with, with fuel. You have to put the uh, fuel in a, a little container type area. And uh, you put the fuel in, and then you choose your combination or your configuration, I should say, is what they call them. And um, and then you'll get a reward. So, uh, we'll. I don't know why I. I, I activated all the levers first, so there, there's another thing. So, if you don't actually put fuel in, you can. You can monkey around with the different configurations and uh, and get some different crazy combinations. All right, there's two treasure chests here. Oh, sorry, I should say ceramic urns. Uh, and the cow, cow bizarre, that's uh, fuel. Uh, there's a couple of different ones. And then here's our, f not, not our first one. I think we, we have either one or two other ones, uh, configurations. Look at this. It's um, a marvel. 
and I'll like I said, said like I said earlier, you, you put fuel in uh, in the fuel receptacle, and then uh, you use different combinations of the lever levers, and uh, and you'll get you'll actually get techniques, and uh, they're pretty powerful. Uh, and you know the best. <laughs> Best part about it all is it's fairly free. But it must be uh, depending on what quests or side quests you do, and how much you explore, or how good you are about you know being thorough in your exploration, uh, you may only have to buy a couple of fuels. Uh, a few of them will be you'll be able to find them. I I can only come to one conclusion: Lord Lau's furnace. Kang, you are speaking nonsense. Lord Lau is a legend, an artificer of the celestial bureaucracy. His works are too fanciful to be real. Legendary, mythical, and overrated in some respects. But if anyone else has a better origin for such machines as this, I'm not hearing it. Artificer to the celestial bureaucracy, he creates machines that themselves also create. Although I'd make them a little less delicate had I his resources. Still, he is an inspirational figure for inventors. And we are in his playhouse. You select the machines you want to activate, and then the tiger or the dragon button. Like this. Don't worry. The individual machines are not activated. I think the switches must be thrown on at least two of the components before it will do well, whatever it does. You also have to select a fuel. It looks like there are a few pieces of cinnabar in the contraption, but it may accept others as well. Well, judging by the pile of ashes I found near the controls, if you do it wrong, it either creates a nice warm fire or burns the person standing here to a crisp. It looks like a powerful thing, so just guessing at the possible configurations will probably get you into trouble and waste the cinnabar in the machine. So, you might want to be careful how you go about it. Things like this usually have directions. Uh, no, recipes. No, that's not it. Um, uh, configurations. That's it. Very true. Perhaps you should give them a try. They didn't mean much before, but now we may have the tools to make something of them. All right. So um, here's the main main area, and we've got a got a little book here to read on the Celestial Order, Volume Three. Um, and let's see here. All right, so you got the reset console. That's like if you put fuel in and you like hit the wrong lever or something, you can reset it and uh, and and you know put in the put in the or use the right levers, I should say. And then here's the fuel hopper. Obviously, that's where the fuel goes. Not too, not too uh, complicated there. Um, there's a couple of different type, types of fuels. You got the Cowbizor, the bar of nickeled iron, and then what is it? Sulfuric or phosphorus water or something like that. All right, and we've got we've got two, so I'm gonna use the. Looks like we're using the the cow bizor bizor bizor. I don't even know how to say that. Biz, bizor. It looks like bizor bizor or whatever whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna toss that bad boy in there, and I think this will be the configuration of the Horus. We'll see here in a minute once I actually complete it all. Uh, all right, so what are we doing here? Looks like I'm reset. Oh, I, I must have reset here. Okay. Well, so maybe I maybe I pulled the wrong lever first. I don't know. Anyways. All right, what do we got here? Conductor. And then that little flag, when the flag comes up, that means you know that you push the button. There you go. And then what was that? I forgot what that was. Clapper shimmy? Water wheel. Nope. Okay, so not water wheel. 
Cranking cauldron. Alright, oh, and then the water wheel. I think I did... I think I was reading off of something, and I just uh, did them in the same order that it was written. I don't think that it matters. There you go, so there's the Song of the Spirit technique, and that was the configuration of the horse. So the configuration of the horse, uh, it's the one, it's the one um, configuration that's actually, you can get another one of those. Um, but you can't bring it back here and get a second technique. You only get the one technique the one time. And that's the only um, configuration that's even like that. The rest of the configurations, there's only one in the game. Yes, but uh, that's going to be it. Indeed. We're going to call it for uh, for uh, the end of this video here. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys want really to, if you guys are helpful. Hope uh, hope you're enjoying them. And uh, hope you keep joining me for more. All right. Thanks for watching.